the city reported its deadliest year ever for drug overdoses. 752 people died in the first 11 months of the year. 80% of the deaths involved fentanyl. The grim number surpassed the previous record of 712 set in 2020. Ren Yamamoto joins me in studio now with the spotlight on part of the city where you can really see this stark contrast on just one block. Yeah, absolutely, Jules. The proper hotel is one of the most highly rated hotels in the city, a luxury boutique hotel boasting a beautiful rooftop restaurant. But step outside of that building and you'll find yourself on the edge of San Francisco's drug crisis. And for those who visit the area, they know it is a balancing act of enjoying the best of what the city has to offer versus facing the worst of what the city has become. We grew up here. It's changed. It's Gina Mulvey and Vicki Martinez have mixed emotions when they return home to visit San Francisco. For someone who was born and raised here and knows every part of the city, which yeah. all, we all are, it's just a little bit sad. We caught up to the pair hanging out with a friend at San Francisco's proper hotel, a boutique hotel that in 2017 was named by Forbes as the city's hippest property. But even Gina knows high-end luxury is not immune to what plagues San Francisco, something she experienced nearby when she last lived in the city. I lived in New York City. I've lived in seven major cities in the last 10 years. I've never been mugged until I moved back to San Francisco. And I got mugged on market. The hotel sits in mid-market that borders the tenderloin ground zero to the city's drug crisis. And on this day, the presence of SPD and urban alchemy kept the area clear of people shooting up, something they told us is a constant battle. This area in particular is kind of um, suspect, I suppose, at times. Sam Rosenbaum frequently travels to San Francisco from D.C. for business. He, too, likes to stay in luxury, but once outside of his hotel, he takes precautions. And don't feel safe walking um, in the evening as art gathering, and I typically I have laptops with me or my camera with me, so I and I always take a car versus one thing. Um, so I uh, just don't generally feel safe or I'm about. As Regina and Vicky, they will always love San Francisco and hope it can return to the city that once was. Well, I think both of us as natives, it feels really sad. Yeah. Um, because this is not the city we know and love. You know what I mean? And it's like we know that there could be better social programs and we know that we could be doing more. And we did reach out to Proper Hotel for their take on the issues in the nearby neighborhood. They said while external challenges do exist, our diligent team ensures the immediate surroundings remain pristine. We sympathize with those facing difficulties across the street, but within our hotel, guests enjoy a seamless and undisturbed experience. And we're not trying to mm -hmm. pick on the, the proper hotel. No. It is a very nice hotel. The rooftop is really nice. Mm -hmm. But it is one of those extreme contrasts in the city sure. where you have this have and have nots. You have this luxury and then you walk outside and you have to deal and face go face to face with the, what's happening in San Francisco. It's a, it's right. a tough contrast. It is. And, you know, I was so proud of the city during APEC, just mm -hmm. driving around at night, the lights, it was bright, it was clean, and you wanted it just to stay that way and I feel do you find this where you're always kind of defending it if you sit you talk to an out of town oh, yeah. or someone who lives out of the state oh San Francisco and I'm like no 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 really come see it's not it's not bad at all yeah but well, I think I stories like this um tell a story that we don't want to show all the time. Yeah, absolutely. I think all of us that live in San Francisco that come from the Bay Area, we defend this city because right. we because we love the city, but we do have our problems. And so you see the contrast in Union Square. It's yeah. all cleaned up right now because you have all the people going there. But if you're on the outside of the drug crisis near the Tenderloin, mm -hmm. it's a different story. It's like that right struggling now. kid. I know you can do better. Yes. I know our city can. Absolutely.